Hey guys, what's going on? Greenville Gear. Thanks as always for watching the channel. Appreciate it. And um, all of you who have subscribed and, and so on. I need to do some new subscriber shout outs and all that. I'm woefully behind. I've got an SGC preview video I need to do. I've got some slabs to show you. I've got some other stuff that's going on in my collection and just a lot of stuff. So anyway, really appreciate you tuning in and, and um, leave a comment or something if you there's a card you really like in, in what I show. So just some random pickups uh, over kind of the summer and, and some traveling and so on. So I wanted to go through those with you. One card that um, just sold, so I thought I'd show it to you. If you watch the channel, you know that I sell cards so that I can buy cards if, if I feel like I can part with them. And this uh, Shohei, um, who's having such a great year from 2019 Optic, was one that I pulled from a pack. And I thought I could part with this. I've got some other Shohei stuff that I'm going to uh, keep. But I do love this um, action shot, this pose here of him um, in the batter's box. Really cool. But anyway, I'm going to send that one out um, today. So let me show you some of the stuff that uh, has been sitting around and, and piling up. Um, this stack here came from a local antique shop. And I think I've shown some stuff from there in previous videos. Um, but there's a guy who keeps restocking his uh, booth. And I think he's cleaning out a basement. And... Um, he seems to have pretty good turnover in, in what he sells, so I keep going back and finding stuff. So I got this Troy Aikman uh, Top's Finest still with the protective coating on it. So I thought that was kind of uh, an easy one. These were all out of the dollar box. Marvin Harrison, rookie. Great Colts wide receiver. And then I think it was 20% off that, so actually they were $0.75, $0.80 cents a piece. I guess $0.80 cents if you do the math, but anyway. Um... So there is a pro set, Emmett Smith. Second year, not a huge card or anything. Uh, upper Deck, Future Heroes, Emmett Smith. A Brett Favre Classic. This is a really neat one. Flair, Manny Ramirez, Wave of the Future. Um, right, Insert or subset. Pretty cool. Uh, Penny Hardaway, Rookie. Couldn't say no to that, so I grabbed another one of those that was in the box. There's a Jason Kidd, rookie, 1994. Also couldn't turn it down. Takes me right back to the 90s with that hat and that tie and so on. But anyway, for a dollar, why not? Or 80 cents. Here's a Emmett Fleer medal. Pretty cool. Nice shine on that. And then another Emmett Future Heroes Upper Deck. So those were fun. And it was cool to go through that box and... And I need to go back, actually, because I haven't been in a, in a couple weeks. And he seems to do a pretty good job, like I said, of restocking it. Um, at that same antique shop, he had some boxes of 86 tops traded and 89 tops traded. So I broke those sets open, which was really fun to get some cards that I either had or didn't have. But the ones that I had, I thought, well, geez, I'll get some that are in much better condition, like this Bo Jackson. 86 tops traded. Love that card. Here's the Conseco. I never had this card. Always wanted this card, so I feel really happy to have it. And then here's um, the Bonds, which looks really good. It's got some edging on this upper right side, but otherwise I, I still might think about sending it in, but I'm pretty pretty sure it's kind of in that 885 territory, but it's pretty sharp. So we'll see. The bummer about the 86 traded sets was that I bought two of them and... Um, one of them, I mean, they weren't sealed sealed, but one of them certainly had gone through, been gone through because the key rookies that I just showed you were only in one of the boxes. So that was a bit of a bummer. It wasn't a high dollar amount on those boxes. So I felt like I got my money's worth, but still a bit of a bummer because I thought I'd get two Bonds and two Consegos and two Jacksons. I did also get two 89 tops traded sets. And there's a few kind of fun cards in that set, but the biggest one, of course, is the Griffey. So this is the 89 Tops Traded Griffey. Never had this card from a box like that. I think I have one in a PSA 8 or something like this. So that's really neat. And I think the centering on one of these is better than the other. Um, but anyway, they're both really sharp. So just kind of an iconic card of the kid. Really like it. So anyway, so we got two of those. And that was fun. So, tons of other stuff, as you see here, that I picked up. Um, I will show you 
I'm never going to turn down some Chris Dunn cards. And I realized from the last year that I didn't have some of the prisms and some of the lasers, like this orange laser. So that was kind of fun to go through the latest 2021 releases and get some Chris Dunn's. So I picked that one up. This is the orange cracked ice from Prism. Love that shine. That's really neat. And there's the green Prism. So I think there's some more that I'll need to go back and get, but I, that's just fun. And it's fun collecting a guy that nobody else really collects and, and I can just get the cards I want. And um, it's just fun. It's just really fun. Um, this summer, after I finished watching F1 Drive to Survive, I thought, oh, it'll be fun to look at some F1 cards and drivers. And so I did that. And um, so I picked a few up. This was a Carlos Sanz, who is a, a great Spanish driver. And so um, this is when he drove for McLaren. He's driving for Ferrari now. Um, but what's neat about this one is it's numbered to 399. So I picked that one up. And then this is his car card. This is a refractor, top scrum. So thus concludes my entire F1 collection, two Carlos Sanz cards. But anyway, I'll, I might pick up some more. They got really expensive, though, but at the time that I got them, I don't think people were really buying F1, so I got, got those at a, at a steal. So, again, I told you this is all over the place. A little baseball, a little basketball, a little football. Here's a Jordan Alvarez complete set um, variation with the Rookie Cup. I just like this. You know, I like cards that have this horizontal orientation, and I just think it's a really neat card. So this came from the complete set, and... Um, couldn't pass it up so got one of those i think i had that card this is a card that i had seen on youtube apologies to whoever's channel i saw it on i, I just cannot remember but this is what youtube becomes um i start to chase cards that i see on youtube and so this is a 1957 tops um, version of a lebron james card they were doing this retro 50 anniversary 50th anniversary from tops so i thought this one was really cool so that's a lebron in that retro style I just thought that was neat. I am trying to get more uh, Jordan kind of, you know, late 80s, 90s cards. This is a Dunk Rank card from Fleer Ultra. And so pick this single up. I picked up some other Fleer Ultras. Um, you can go back and look at the channel on some of the old um, SGC submissions. But I think I got a lot of five of them and submitted the best three. And that was just a blast. But that was back when SGC was a little more affordable per card. For no real reason, if you watch the channel, but other than that, I like collecting them. Is I'm I'm picking up the 2019 series um, um, one and two and update in um, any of them in black to 67. So this is the the parallel, and there's the number to 67. So it's not that I'm a big Defoe fan, um, but um, I just really like. I just really like that. I think when I got back into the hobby pre-pandemic in like early 2019, this set was kind of coming out. And now I just really like going back and picking up the ones just to 67. So that's fun. Um, when I was in Pittsburgh, I went to a card shop, actually a couple card shops. And there was a, neither of them were outstanding, but one of them had a box of cheap cards I don't even think sleeved or anything like that. So I just picked them up for maybe 10 cents a piece. There's a Rosarena Bowman, Mount Castle, Bobby Dahlbeck, Kalenic, Alec Baum, Christian Javier, two Dylan Carlsons. Again, these are all first edition. Sixto Sanchez, two Casey Mize, Key Brian Hayes, I love this one. This is the Jordan Bowman rookie. Neat. Also in that same box, I found this Jack Flaherty 1959 um, version. Of course, it's Topps Archives, um, but I just thought that was a deal. Really neat. So I'll put that in my rookies box that I have. So that was neat. A card that I saw on YouTube and I had chased down this summer. I really like this 1970s retro -y design from Tops, And this is Michael Vick, a player that I like to grab when I can. So I thought that was a cool one. Again, inexplicable. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but I, if I can buy lots of two or three of the 2019 Tops to 67, I do it. And so there it is. 
Kang Danny Salazar, which actually I think I have two Danny Salazars, so maybe I'm cornering the market on the Danny Salazar to 67. Stephen Wright. I just think that's so cool because, of course, there just isn't a big print run on these. So that's neat. Um, did pick up this single uh, online, Sixto Sanchez. This is the 2021 parallel. So I thought that was neat. The corner is not great there, which is a bit of a bummer, but I'll still put that in the rookie's box. This one I couldn't pass up. This is an optic Brady in the Tampa uniform. So grab that one. I mean, just a great looking card. In Pittsburgh, I picked this one up. I don't think I ever had this. The 85 Tops Roger Clemens and uh, rookie. And so I don't usually buy raw cards like this. And, you know, at, at, at a little higher price point than a dollar. But this one was just a neat one. Centering's not great top to bottom, but otherwise looks pretty good. So I was really happy to get that. I went on a bit of a obsessive buying streak, and I still am looking out for this card. This is the 83 Tops Lawrence Taylor. That's his second year, and I just think it's a beautiful card. I remember having this as a kid. And this summer I was looking out for them and just grabbing them at a few dollars a piece, the ones that looked sharp. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell on the pictures. But these all came in pretty good. I would say these are all pretty near mint. So I grabbed four of those. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I have four now. Shame on that corner. But other than that, they um, all look pretty good. Another card that I wanted, and I was just buying some singles, is Nolan Ryan. 82 tops. I think I had this one and then might have sold it and then regretted it. So I bought one back. 82 tops football Bradshaw. Love that card. 82 tops Theisman. Beauty. 82 tops Dorset. Love this. This is my all time favorite like card set. 82 tops football. I'm going to do a video about it. I just love it. There's 83 Ken Anderson. 83, Joe Theismann. 82 tops, Dale Murphy didn't have that card. Reggie Jackson, 83 tops, beauty. And what is this, an 84 Fleer, Fernando Valenzuela, a beauty. So lots of random stuff. Thanks for checking it out. Really appreciate it. This video is getting a little long. Appreciate it if you stuck through it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.